so you guys might be able to make out that i'm using my mobile and i'm casting the display on my mobile to my computer and i've changed the interface on my mobile to look like a computer and in this video i will show you how you can do that to your mobile So we'll go step by step. First of all, we'll have to set up casting on our mobile so that our mobile can be casted or the display can be mirrored on the PC screen. Or if you're using a monitor, then I will also tell you how you can do it on a monitor. So first of all, we'll do it for the PC. So you can set up your casting on your laptop or your PC monitor or anything like that. So there are various methods, but I prefer the MobiZen app and it works flawlessly. So first of all, you'll have to set up MobiZen on your mobile. You'll have to install the application. To do that, go to the Play Store and search for MobiZen Mirror. So this would be the first app and you'll have to install it. So after you have installed the MobiZen application, you will get an icon for it and you can open it. The installation of the mobile is very simple. All you have to do is start and you will just have to connect your Google or Facebook account. So if you are connecting your Google account, you will have to connect the same account on your computer. And if you are connecting a Facebook account, you can you will have to do the same as well. So I will connect my Facebook account. Then it will show you the various things you have to do to make it work. So I will show you what you have to do. First, you will have to go to the developer settings. If you have not enabled developer settings, you can do that by opening the about phone and then tapping on the build number seven times. After you have done that, you will have developer options enabled. You will have to open the developer options. In the developer options, you will have to enable Android debugging or USB debugging and ADB over network if you have it. So after you have enabled everything, go to the Mobizen app again. When you go to the Mobizen app again, it would show you something like this for enable USB debugging. It will say that it has been set. And after you get this message, you just have to start Mobizen. So now you have set up everything on the mobile, you'll have to set up for the computer as well. You will need this app called Mobizen on your computer. I will leave a link in the description where you can download all the files and you'll have to install it on your computer. The installation is quite basic. All you have to do is click on the next button a few times and the app will be installed. So I'll skip the installation and then get back to you. After the installation, you'll have to open the Mobizen app. I will just search for it and open it. It will download the various files. You'll have to connect your phone to the same account and on the computer also, you'll have to connect to the same account. So if you're connecting via Gmail, you'll have to connect both accounts via the same Gmail account. And if you're using Facebook, you'll have to connect the same account on both the devices. You'll have to tap on the two-step verification on your mobile before you log into your computer. So I'll just do that. So you will get a code that you will have to enter on your mobile and it will be connected. Now your phone is connected to your computer and everything that you do on your mobile will be shown onto your computer. To turn this into full screen mode, all you have to do is press Ctrl and enter and now it's in full screen mode. You can also set it up via the USB cable and I prefer using the USB cable because the casting is a bit faster. In Wi-Fi, you might get some lag between the mobile and the computer. So if you want to use a TV rather than a computer as the casting display, you'll have to go to the settings menu and in the display menu, you'll find an option for cast. You'll have to click on cast and then you will also have to enable enable wireless display. After you do that, you'll get an option for your TV if you have a smart TV or if you have a Chromecast. For some phones, it doesn't work well with Roku and Amazon Fire Stick, but this option will definitely work for Chromecast. So you'll have an option for the TV and you can just tap on that and connect it to your TV and you'll have your phone mirrored to your television. Uh, if you want another video on casting on how to watch movies on your TV or PC screen using the Showbox application, it works for all the phones like for Moto G4 Plus also. Let me know in the comment section below. I might make a video on that. And also subscribe to this channel because I keep making videos like this. So now the shameless plug is over. So I'll tell you how you can set up your mobile interface. So to set up your mobile as the computer, you will need two things. First of all, you will need the interface to be just like a computer. Uh, and the second thing is that you will need to connect your mouse and your keyboard to your mobile using an OTG cable. So first of all, we'll set up the interface. You'll have to go to Play Store and download an app called Androidium. The app name is Androidium OS and it's still in beta stages, but it is quite a useful application. 
so after you open the app it will ask for a lot of permissions you'll have to grant all of them and you access all the apps and everything else through this application that's why it requires a lot of permissions so the android and setup is quite simple after you click ok you'll have a notification for android os beta and if you click on it once it will launch the android os so before clicking on it i would request you to first mirror your device using mobizen and then click on android so you'll have to first mirror it using the mobizen mirror application and then go to android os and click on it once the interface looks a bit weird on mobile because everything is really small but you can use everything from the mobile itself the icons might be small but they work and the interface is very similar to that on your windows computer so now we have set up the interface just like a computer we'll have to add an otg cable and connect our mouse and keyboard using it so i'll quickly go ahead and connect my wireless mouse and keyboard using my mobile through an otg cable i have a wireless mouse and keyboard setup so i just have to connect one of these uh, to the OTG cable. If you don't have a wireless mouse and a keyboard setup, you can use a USB extender that extends your USB port to multiple ports. Then you can connect your wired mouse and keyboard to your uh, phone using an OTG cable. So after connecting your uh, mouse and keyboard, you will see that your mouse and keyboard works on your mobile and it also has a pointer so you can double click on the icons to open them. Now everything is set. All you need to do is connect your mobile to your computer uh, when I mean connect, I mean you have to mirror your mobile to your computer with the casting that I showed in the starting of the video and then your mobile will be set up as a computer. And I will quickly go ahead and mirror the app using Mobis and Mirror application and then get back to you. So you guys might be able to make out that I'm using my mobile and I'm casting the display on my mobile to my computer and I've changed the interface on my mobile to look like a computer and you can also do this with a TV if you have. And the mouse and keyboard are not connected to the computer but they are connected to my mobile and this will also work with a television or any other monitor. You might be able to notice that there is a bit of lag in the mouse movement on the keyboard. That's because the wireless casting is a bit slow. If you have a USB hub and you want to connect it to your computer then you can use the USB cable it will be very fast. And it's same for the TV, you can connect using an HDMI cable and it would work flawlessly. I will give you like a brief overview of what we can do. You can actually use the browser. It actually looks just the same as it does on the computer. You have the various tabs, the interface is just like a computer. You can also play Minesweeper. One thing that is required with this is that you need a decent quality phone or it might lag a lot. You have the file manager, the browser and the various like basic stuff that you have on a computer and the interface is very similar to that on a computer. And the start menu also looks very similar to Windows one. You have the various Android apps also. This The Android app is actually a Kickstarter campaign and it's doing quite well. So guys, that's it for the video. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. And I made this video just because the previous OTG video got 100 likes and all of you guys requested it. So if you're a new user, you can subscribe to the channel and you can also watch some previous videos of mine. Hello? Pankaj Ji, 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 Pankaj